All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to your next Facebook tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do in today's tutorial is or save the access token. Um, once the person gives our application permission to sign into Facebook, we're going to save an access token that will allow us to sign them in automatically anytime that they use our application. Because it gets really annoying each time that they load up our application, they have to click the login button before they can do anything else related with Facebook. So what we're going to do instead is once our screen loads up we're gonna pull some information that we saved from the phone get that access token if it's true um, if there's a real access token that we've saved previously we're gonna log into Facebook for them alright so it's pretty awesome and we're gonna do that with shared preferences hopefully you guys have worked with shared preferences before but if you haven't all it is is it's a way for us to save information to the phone so that even if the user exits our application or closes our application once they reopen it we can still pull some of that information we saved previously so it's just a way that we can actually save information to the phone so now we're going to go into our on create method and set up our shared preferences how we're going to save information to our phone and we're just going to say sp equals get shared pre or get preferences sorry and we have different modes we can save privately where only our application will communicate with how we save that data uh, you can also do like world readable or world writable where the user can actually um, go in and or other applications can even go in and find that data um, but we want to do it privately so no one will find it and delete it or something like that and you do that with this parameter here we're just going to type out mode and private and that sets up the way that we're going to save information to our phone now what we need to do is we need to create another string variable which is going to be our access token. This is going to be from our shared preferences again, and we're going to say get string, and then obviously you have a key and you also have a, a default value if we don't actually have an access token. So we're looking for a variable that we saved onto the phone called access token, and if we can't find that variable, if it can't retrieve what that, you know, whatever this uh, string called access token. Is supposed to hold we're just gonna put a default value of null if we can't get that information or if there's nothing there we also want a long variable and this is gonna be expires and I'll talk about this more and once we get into it but we're just gonna refer to the SP again get long and we're gonna refer to the key as access um, expires and the default will be zero so again, all we're doing here is we're just trying to retrieve some information that we saved to the phone through the shared preferences and uh, the values or the key references or the name of kind of the file that we're looking for is either access token or access expires. And that's either gonna be a string value that we return or an expires. And if we can't get that information, it's either gonna return null for the access token, whoops, or it's gonna return zero for our expires value. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check if we get that information properly. So we're gonna say if access token does not equal null, and that's a, uh, I mean, you guys probably should know this, but uh, it's just exclamation mark. What we're gonna do within this statement, if we actually got the access token, because again, if it didn't get the access token, it's gonna to be equal to null. So the only reason we're going to get into this if statement is if we did get the access token, if there is an actual access token. And then what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our Facebook variable we set up and say set access token to our string that we got back, which we called access token for convenience. Pretty awesome. Now the next thing that we're going to set up is our expires because Facebook sometimes will... Um, expire the permission that we have or application has and the user will have to log back in uh, to give us a new expiration date so we're just gonna check for access oops let's see our expires if our expires does not equal zero because again that's the default value and we're just gonna refer to our Facebook variable set uh, access expires to our expires right here all right so this will keep us logged in for a while if we get that information again that we saved to the shared preferences. But the thing is, we haven't saved anything to shared preferences yet because all of this information, well, I guess this one's setting up the way that we will save. 
but all of this information is just trying to get information from the shared preferences or loading the data into our app. 